Welcome to the world of Jones Nose. Today I'm gonna to show you how we turned a regular staircase into an ultra modern piece of artwork. Today on Jones Nose. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be. Hi, if you're new to the channel, my name is Tim. I'm a flooring and stair contractor, and as usual, helping me in the videos are my sons Tristan, Hunter, and now my old installer, friend, compadre and worker Joe is back again for round two. I was gonna say round two but in reality it's probably round five six I don't know I fired him more times than I can keep track of no uh, Joe's a good guy he's one of the hardest workers I've ever had he's a, definitely a big addition to the team again we're on the staircase this one is pretty special uh, we're doing a retro modern front a creation that I make for my customers some that actually sell uh, around the country to other customers. It's a way to cover your stairs with that modern square front look and it fits right around your old treads. But without any further ado, let's get inside and take a look at the job. Bringing in all the five inch flooring that we're going to be using on the second floor. We have our new stringers that we've put in. Now we're using a two and a quarter inch on the landing, which is exactly like the treads. I want the landing to look like one big tread. On the second floor though, I wanted to do something that screamed modern, like the rest of the project. And I wanted to go with a five inch, which is way more modern, less rows, just a, a great look. So we're actually gonna spline this, and switch directions for that whole side of the job. But we're gonna start right at the nose here. So we have the proper amount of spacing. There's no guesswork. Once we install the wood upstairs, uh, we spread the whole floor with a trowel on filler. We basically cover the whole floor in filler. Gets all the crevices, cracks joints, anything. So then we sand it off and it looks like a sheet of glass before we stain and finish it. Right now we're on the hallway portion of the job. So once we installed our five inch oak, we then spread the whole floor trowel on filler. But once you do that, you then need to sand off all the excess and that's where we're at today. So let's go take a look at how we sand it off. So we're using what's called a square buffer sander. It's actually a rectangle, I don't know why they call it square. It's a rectangular buffer sander. Um, has big giant sheets of sandpaper like 18 by 12 inches in, uh, in length and width. So they're huge. It's very, very um, mild. So you really can't damage your floor with this sander. And it does not make a lot of mess. But it's also not very powerful if you have some tough spots 
that, that you can't quite get into. So we're going over it first with our edger that we would already go around on the edges because it's an edger and sand all the places that the, uh, the square or rectangle won't get into. Wow, it looks good. This is it. This is our five inch unfinished oak. And it looks like a million dollars. And putting this up against my cool steps, it's gonna look awesome. You missed the spot. I don't care. <laughs> I'm joking. It doesn't. Oh, big move. With the tape. Yes. Thank you. You happy with the color? Yeah. Definitely wasn't a uh, quick decision on this one. We probably had uh, gone back and forth with 15 colors. Actually, probably 20, 30 initially, but we narrowed it down to maybe 10 down to five, down to two, and then at the end came up with a completely different stain out of left field that just came in at the very end. Uh, I just happened to go to the store and they had a new stain out that day and uh, it was a, a hit with my client and uh, it looks really, really good. I'm excited about it. Wow, so I just left my client's house and she decided we really want to make this staircase just pop. Instead of the three inch, we're going with the four inch fronts. I'm glad she's going with it because we're going for modern. We're going for something that stands out. We're going for something amazing and this is what's going to set it off. Treads. It's kind of the tedious part. They're they're cut to size, but you want to take your time and still install them and make sure they're they're sitting nice and tight and you don't have any gaps under them. So it's not just a, a rush through. Uh, we retrofitted the steps that were already here with my custom uh, kind of my invention basically. The tread and making it four inches thick. It's pretty impressive, and I think you're gonna like the effect putting on the final coat of finish. As we wake to another beautiful South Florida day, I'm about to find out all is not well at the staircase. I would say whichever finish makes it lighter would be my choice. Just right. the right color, huh? But the yeah. finish could tweak it lighter. Wow, so I'm out here at my client's home. Um, I got that text that no installer or contractor wants to get in the morning about the, uh, the color uh, not being right. Uh, she writes that the uh, floor is too dark and she wants to make the floor match a piece of furniture in the house that's in view of it. So my first instinct is to rush out here and dive in and start throwing colors on it and going to work on it. But I have to take a step back from the job myself and think about it today and I have to come up with a solution that's going to make this work in one shot. We don't want to 
keep adding and changing stuff. We want to do one thing to it, and we want it to come out perfect. I'm going to head over to one of my other jobs today, think about this for a few hours, and I think I can come up with a solution to make this work. That bird is driving crazy. Normally I would say sleep on it, but I got to kind of work on it. Does that make any sense? I'll figure it out. I'm confident. start this job back in April, February, Mar March or April, and then we got put the jo job on hold for almost six months, and now we're back, and now the risers are out of stock, so now we're waiting on them, but this is where we're at. We got the rail, we got the steps in, we just need to put the risers in, so then we can finish all the other components and pieces to the puzzle around it, and then we'll be all done. Quite the staircase. We started with different color rails, Wooden posts everywhere, no stringers. We added the stringers, we changed the balusters, and this is where we're at. 80% done, and we're almost there. Wow, after going to work on one of my other job sites for a little while, it was just driving me crazy. I had to get out to the store and take a look at some stains and some ideas to how to lighten these treads and this floor in the hallway. So I'm out here at Lowe's and I found two products. They have color wash, um, white wash, and then they have a uh, wood effects. This is a, a weathered gray. Now my first instinct, we're doing like a gray, we go with this, but we want to go lighter. So the transparent layering and the, uh, the white wash look here, I think is what we're going to go with. I think it's going to make a huge difference. If you see here, this is the, uh, this is what it was, and this is what it becomes. This is what it was, and this is what it becomes. So I think this is definitely what she's looking for. I hate to put all my eggs in one basket, um, but I think I'm literally doing that with this one. I believe that we're using a Minimax or a Volthane uh, stain, which are about the same. So I think this product's definitely going to be compatible with, with um, our stain. So we're good there. Hopefully it just lightens and whitens our floor. We need to be on the money with this. I have a lot of time and labor invested into these treads. These are my babies and this floor is as well. So hopefully we make this look exactly like my client wants it. The product that we're working with today is a Minwax product. It is my first time using this exact product. I've worked with products like it before, so it's pretty similar. Uh, you put it on, rub it in, kind of almost buff it as you put it on, and it takes to the green and gives it that lighter, overall lighter look. Woo! I love this. Perfect. I like I liked it before. I actually really liked it before, but this definitely. I mean, it just ties into like when I stand here, it it, it complements this, the cabinet, the table. Like I just see all the elements. I think it's good. Yeah, I mean, this is it. say that the handrails, I was going to do the handrails myself. I quoted for this exact same package. Unfortunately, we were really busy this week and she needed it done this week. I couldn't do it for another week. So I love it and I think you're gonna love it, but let's let you decide for yourself. So this staircase is basically one of my favorites. I love all the detail from the wider planks upstairs to the nice thick four inch treads. And this is a way to bring those treads to your house. Uh, 
four inch treads are basically normally for open staircases or staircases that you build and you have a space in it. Very rarely can you buy a four inch tread that's going to fit on a standard staircase. It's just not going to happen. That's why I make these, these treads like this and I think it makes a huge difference. Anybody can put a, a regular tread on or do a standard staircase, but I like to go one step beyond and that's why I stay busy. That's why I'm booked. So I'm happy. I think it looks great. What do you think of the rails, Hunter? It's really nice. Right? <laughs> and with the color, it just... Everything like... came together. I mean, you had... I, I gave you credit. You had the vision. And, <laughs> <laughs> and we are all done here. Another one bites the dust. I'm really excited with how this job came out. My customer had a dream, a vision, and we were able to bring it to life for her. And whenever you can do something like that, it's special. And you just get really excited when you see it complete. This job is one of my favorites this year. I love the fact that we went with the big modern fronts on our steps. And then of course, she finished it off with some really nice railings. If you love these treads and you want your staircase to look like this, drop me a message. I make these treads to fit any staircase in any size and I ship them anywhere. Well, if you're new to the channel, be sure to check out some of our other content. We have lots of great videos on how to install wood, laminate, and vinyl floors, plus my favorite product reviews. I review wood, laminate, and vinyl, and I even put them head to head. I run them over, I dunk them, I submerge them, I do whatever it takes to find out which of these floors are best for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, I want you to take out your favorite floor and mallet. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. And thanks for watching. I really, really like these solid color stains that they have now. Um, navy. Um, another one here for uh, barn red. Wow. Uh, royal pine. And my favorite, the tinsmith gray. Uh, I really like these, these stains like this because I get a lot of customers that want less grain and more wood and stain and, and beautiful color sometimes you get those dark grains they really break up the look so this is more color less grain i think it's going to be a hit i've already worked it into i think one or two of our jobs already uh, it seems like lately all the jobs are ridiculously large uh, we haven't had a nice little 500 foot vinyl job done by two o'clock kind of work day in a, quite a while um I like doing the big jobs, but I also like to have a little break here and there. Normally we do like a big job and then two or three small jobs that were waiting for us to finish the big job and then a big job, but it seems like lately we've gone from big job to big job to bigger job all in a row. Be happy when we get in a nice little groove of my favorite vinyl floor. It could be new core, it could be life proof, it could be something new maybe. Keep our fingers crossed.